Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. Uh, and we're just we're just doing PvP again today. Alright. So for today, I did drop back down to almost like six thousandth place. Like I'm in the six thousand area, uh, basically. So there's actually quite a few things I could probably derive from this. And it's actually a little bit complicated for today and this week because of the fact that db4 max is out so not everyone has it so in this case i can't really determine like if i drop down because like this is where i'm actually supposed to be or if i drop down because i started using turtling or if i drop down because i wasn't using my uh defense boost for max first turn like like there's uh there's like there's multiple different reasons as to why i could have fallen down um and a lot of them, as of for today anyways, kind of revolve around the fact that DB4 Max is out. And not everyone has it. Although, I'm a, I would like to assume more and more people are starting to get it. So, these next few days as well today is pretty much going to be testing uh, my defensive setups. Uh, and this is what I actually like to do uh, during the week before the last two days uh, before reset is basically test my defensive setups because um, finding out what works uh, defensive wise is what helps you rise in the ranks a lot easier as well so like for example like like yesterday yesterday for example i was like 400 and something uh, and that was probably because my de defense at least at that time was really good compared to everyone else no one was able to knock me down so because of that i had the opportunity to fight the higher tier players okay and this is what like the whole defensive option is um is about like having a good defense lets you be able to go higher in the rankings the next day compared to just always fluctuating within the same bracket uh and i feel like a lot of people just don't care <laughs> about that or realize that or something i don't know but this is why i always gripe about defensive setups because like when it comes to that last day, that second to last day, that uh, the mon uh, the Sunday night, the day before reset, um, trying to maintain your rank is important. So I usually try and use the other five days of the week to test out my defensive setups to see what works and such. So in this case, uh, because of the fact we did drop down to like near 6,000 stuff, uh, today I might end up, instead of using turtling, going back to using my damage setup that I have my fairy stars uh, because I kind of realized it last night as well but the whole per like one of the main purpose like there was two purposes for using this turtle setup uh, for round one one was to get rid of their Asuna to set up for stroke at midnight uh, round two and the other was to provide turtle buffs to carry over for stroke at mi midnight uh, to help me win basically all right now, of course, I will be losing out on the actual defensive setup uh, that will be going along with this. Uh, but the, on the flip side, I'll also be getting the benefit of possibly, possibly being able to beat people who also try using their weak setups round one. So it, it's a bit, it's a toss up. You're always, it's a bit of a give and take. Um, and this is where testing comes and become, becomes uh, involved. And this is usually what I go through. All right, so for the sake of this battle, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna keep it the way it is right now and see how it does uh, using my turtle setup to get rid of the Suna as an attacker, uh, which will also help defending as well. I'm gonna have Starlight round two, uh, since this is my best setup. And then I'll have Stroke of Midnight round three because I can still have the uh, triple threats go off uh, to have the paralysis kick in. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna give this a try. Uh, because of the fact I am like in the 6,000, I should be able to get some pretty easy wins within these uh, first few battles. Because um, I'm usually within like around the 500 bracket. Uh, so whenever I drop down, it's fairly easy, easy for me to go right back up. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and you go fight against Donk over here.
All right, let's see what it is. Realistically, what I could have done, and I didn't think about it until just now. I actually could have swapped out my turtle setup for my offensive uh, status ailment setup for my fairy stars. Uh, for this bracket tier, because of the fact that everyone is typically weaker than me in this bracket tier. So if, if I just wanted like easier wins, more reliable, consistent wins within this like bracket that I'm in, I could have gone for offensive setup and I just can be like beat them. Uh, but I don't think it'll be too much of a problem because of the fact that I still have really strong setups for my other two keyblades. So we'll just see. Every once in a while, though, in these lower tiers, uh, I do find people here and there that do have really potent, like, <laughs> setups. So, like, right here, he, this guy did, like, 26 million against my DB3 max. Imagine how much he would do against my DB4 max. He probably would would have barely gotten 20 million bait, probably. Um, and my setup can easily go to near like 30 million, even like around 26, 28 million, uh, even against a DB4 max. So uh, against a DB3 max, it would go even higher too. So it depends, unless, unless that wasn't his best setup. People normally tend to, uh, at least these last few weeks and such, tend to use their best setup, their best, Keyblade within the first round, so unless that wasn't his best, which I don't think it was because this guy did less on his second setup. So, this is my Starlight. I should be able to easily beat this. Yeah, like even with his easy. Oh, it, I just realized it doesn't help that he's only using defense 2 max instead of 3 max. But that was an easy one right there. Do we, are we gonna get okay cool I don't actually remember if I got the Suna off round one I think I believe I did but assuming I did I got the triple threat to go off here is he paralyzed I don't know I can't tell if he's paralyzed okay he is paralyzed so sure so he should be able to skip two medals okay yeah there we go cool. now one thing that does uh, probably, probably one of the main drawbacks to status ailment strategies is the fact that, and I don't know if pe enough people realize this. I know higher tier people will realize this, but I don't know if other people in lower tiers will realize this. But, ooh, I think the, oh yes. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, he barely beat 2 million. Okay. I was like, why, why did I win that one? I had 27 million. He only had 2 million. That makes sense. All right, so we're actually going to fight Bay this time at 12,000, oh, not my bad, 1,225th place with an average of 20.3, basically. We're going to go ahead and fight you. All right, so like I was saying before, I don't know if enough people realize this, but probably one of the main uh, kind of like escape plans or plan Bs that you can fall on uh, when you're fighting against status ailments uh, in PvP are actually the Prime Metals. The Prime Metals are actually a really good counter strategy against status ailment effects just because of the fact that even though the status ailments are making you skip like your first two, three medals and such. Uh, so primary, pretty much most of your main buffer debuffer metals uh the prime metals are actually a really good counter like sub counter to this because of the fact that they still provide most of the buffs and debuffs uh that you would normally get anyways so you can still get a pretty significant amount of damage uh even against like status ailment strategies and such so that's one of the main thing and i i feel like less i don't i feel like a lot of people don't realize that uh because i see i see some people like we'll have it but i feel like it's more coincidence and more than anything else and not so much because like they realize that <laughs> type of thing um because the status the the key art not the key art the because the prime metals they do deal a good chunk of damage because they are seven star but they also provide really good buffs and evo so that's just a food for thought okay I should be able to easily beat this guy. All right. 
Defense boost five. Even with his defense boost five, I, I, I'm pretty sure I should still be able to uh, get past that 22 million. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, no, easily. Easily. Yeah, there we go. And this is kind of what I mean. Like, I, I don't really like defense boost five too much. It's just me personally, but it's not, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um... I know someone mentioned in the comment section, it was either the comment section or Discord. Someone mentioned that, uh, why, like, why people like status ailments such as myself, because it does provide uh, a bit of an edge in PvP compared, uh, when fighting against stronger opponents, because you can basically, like, neuter the stronger <laughs> opponents. So, that is one reason why I like that. Yeah, so, like, right here, for example, like, if they had a Prime Metal there instead, uh, they still could have probably done a significant amount of damage compared to what they're doing right now because they're they basically have no buffs or debuffs uh, to, to apply so they're doing like no damage All right, that was bay. Thank you for the battle bay. All right, so we're still keeping the setup the exact same, and we're gonna go ahead and fight Axe this time at 568th place with an average of 23.8. So, good luck, have fun, Axe. So we're still using my turtling setup round one. All right, so we we got the sleep boost off, so we're definitely making him skip the Asuna, or use the Asuna, I mean. So like this guy right here is using prime metals. They would, like, if I had made them skip metals, for example, right there, I, I'm they probably could have been able to recover from that a little bit. Ooh, is this a tier seven illustrated invisible? Oh snap, it is. <laughs> Jesus. I can't wait till I can get my next uh, seven star tier eight medal. That's gonna be ridiculous. Realistically, it it will, it will probably either be my Psyax Plus or my uh, Simba and Sora. One of the two, probably my Psyax, just because my Psyax has extra attack. Uh, that's, it's a bit unfortunate that it has an extra attack, but, but with some stuff coming up soon. Uh, it's actually not gonna. It's actually gonna be a bit of a blessing, rather than a curse. Okay. So this person did 37 million. I might be able to get past. I. No, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to get past this. I feel like I wouldn't. I feel like I wouldn't be able to. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Nova here too, just in case. No, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do enough damage to come back. I'm a little too far away. My my Warrior Light's not gonna do enough damage. Yeah. Yeah. You do way more than me. Oh well. Good game, X. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fight Andrew at 565th place with an average of 21. All right, we're still using the same setup. Alright, so we got rid of Asuna. You know, every once in a while I do come across 
uh, somebody who's using turtling round one too. And I always find that very interesting because sometimes I'll be using turtling round one. It's just like a, a turtle off. <laughs> and it's very strange. It's a, it's a very strange battle sometimes. All right, let's see how this guy does in a second. Boy. Aladdin and Magic Carpet. I haven't seen anybody use that in such a long time. Heck, I haven't even used it. I still have it. I just haven't used it. I don't even... Mine's not even fully guilted, to be honest. Um, I have been needing a... Ne I've been having a need for obtaining more uh, seven-star... AOE medals, like really good, hard hitting seven star AOE medals. So I'm talking about like tier six and up AOE medals. I've been needing that just because I have way too many like single target and ran random target uh, seven star medals at those tier levels. So I've been really needing some more seven star AOE lately. Uh, I know some of my party told me to go get the prime roxes, but I, I don't, I don't really feel like it's worth getting prime roxes right now. Um, yeah, it's a yeah, it's AOE, but like I, I I have a strong feeling it's gonna get replaced soon. Um, on top of the fact, I need hard hitting AOE medals, uh, harder like like tier six, seven, eight AOE medals. That's what I need. Maybe I would like compare to the rest of the seven stars that I have. Hey, so we got him to skip Kyrie. I don't think he's not gonna be able to come back from this like he's basically screwed even if he had like extra attack on all these metals he's he's not gonna do anywhere near enough damage like even this extra attack right here it's just it just it's just meaningless yeah a lot of people rely on the Kyrie X plus a little too much when it comes to like the third and second round all right, so we're keeping the setup the same again, but this time we're gonna fight Cthulhu over here. I love the name. I love the fact you're in a. I believe. I believe it's Angus, right? I believe this is Angus. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But I. I love. Uh, <laughs> I love the theme that you got going on over here. But we're gonna fight you because you're at 315 place and you have an average of 23.1, which is about a little bit higher than where I'm at. But we're gonna go ahead and give you a shot. That's ridiculous. All right, so this is all gonna come down to the second round, whether or not I can actually beat Cthulhu. Let's see how many points we can get. Was this 18 million? Uh. Okay, yeah. No, I think I should I think I could I should be able to beat you. Oh, you are running defense boost five. I was I was wondering if you're if you were running that or not. I see if you weren't, it was gonna be a guaranteed win for me, but if you do, it's up in the air. I meant to use my Nova right there. No yeah, you got me right there. Oof, so close. So close. Good job, Cthulhu. Alright, so we're basically starting to hit the 
the tier bracket where I'm gonna be struggling. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna be losing quite a lot again. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and fight Clary over here. Actually, no, we're not gonna fight you. You're a little too strong for my taste. I'm actually gonna refresh the page real quick. Oof. Ew. This is all nasty. We're gonna fight Aromos over here at 400th place at an average of 22.6. Um, the mashy looks a little tasty, but, uh, I mean, you're higher rank, so I'm, like, it just makes more sense to fight Emeros over here. As much as I like to fight Roxas, and I, I love the outfit, <laughs> with the cloud outfit, <laughs> it's oddly fitting. Alright, ooh, is that a soccer ball? Where'd you get that? Where'd you get the soccer ball? Is that one of the, the avatar parts we get this week? Unless it, unless it was from like a past, uh, unless it was from a pet, one of those like pet parts deals things. I don't recall them having a soccer ball available. That's dope. I want one. Oh. I forgot to say earlier too though. Um, I I kind of felt the urge to swap up my setup to change from turtling to uh, offensive, just just because I wanted something different. But after thinking about, it, I'm like, nah, I'm starting to hit that bracket like I mentioned before, where uh, I'm gonna be start struggling. So and everyone's using their best setup defensively, uh, round one, which I'm gonna re lose regardless of which setup I use. So, like like I mean, look at this guy. This guy's just going nuts on me. You, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, so it's like I might as well just stick to turtling round one. At least, at least as an attacker. I really love uh, Aqua and Stitch. It's a really, I don't know what it is about it. I think it's just the artwork or something, but I really love Aqua and Stitch. It's a pretty dope metal. They actually hit 28 million though. I might struggle to, I don't think they have defense boost five. Yeah, no, I don't think they do. So I might be able to match them on that. We'll see. No, I wanted to use my Nova. Oh well. Yeah, no, I didn't. I wasn't able to. I wasn't able to match it. Rip. Oh well. Good game, Ammer. Eremos. All right, so still the same setup. We're gonna go ahead and fight Sarah over here at 286 place with an average of 21. So good luck. Have fun, Sarah. I always find it interesting looking at what people's pets are. Very curious what people have as their pets. Sarah over here still has like a almost default pet, which isn't which isn't a bad thing. I just found it interesting. I see they have that. I believe that was like the first VIP pet accessory cap as well. So it's kind of cool to see someone else with that. Jesus Christ. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I swear. The number of people in the higher tier brackets that have seven star, like, uh, tier eight medals, like Illustrate Invisible and stuff, and, like, other, have basically more than one seven star tier eight medal. Are just insane to fight against. Okay. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure I should be able to beat this guy pretty easily. Okay, so I did get the... Uh, I did get the triple threat to go out. Okay, good. Good. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be able to make them skip their uh, two medals here. Let me go ahead and use my Nova real quick. See, like right there, that's a good example. They used their Prime Medal right there, which helped them out a lot and getting some immediate points. That's exactly what I was talking about before. How Prime Metals are like, kind of like a sub counter to uh, status element strategies. They might actually come back. No, 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 no. But you see how close they were to actually beating me even though I made them skip two medals? It was because, literally mostly because of that uh, Prime Metal. All right, we have three tries left. And we're going to go ahead and fight Alex over here at rank 134th place with an average of 22.7. So we're going to go ahead and fight you. You see, this is exactly why I throw <laughs> the first round most of the times when fighting these type of people. They're just too insane for my current setups to have any chance of beating. Right. Let's see how they do here. I'm using fairy stars. Ooh, Axel and Pluto. I actually find it very interesting you chose to use Axel Pluto right there, because I don't think you're actually going to get your max damage in that fourth slot. So, I find it kind of questionable why you are using that there. Unless you don't have any other stronger metal to use, in which case then I understand. So I might be able to beat this person if they don't have defense boost 5. Crap, they do. <laughs> uh, no, I'm probably going to lose. We're going to go ahead and actually use my Nova this time. Although, I'm still nowhere near. Like, they have like double the score that I do. Yet. Like, my Warrior Light's not going to be able to catch up. Yeah, see. Oh, well. Good game, Alex. They call me number 13. Alright, so this is my second to last trial. We're going to actually go ahead and fight... Oh, Alex is here again. We're not going to fight Alex again because we clearly lost. So, what we're actually going to do is we're going to go ahead and fight Thackeray over here. Who's in 188th place instead uh, with an average of 21.4. So, we're going to go ahead and fight you. Your Alice suit doesn't look that bad, Thackeray. <laughs> I just noticed your pet is like a fox unicorn thing with I think horse feet that's <laughs> that's very interesting <laughs>
Ooh. Oh, nope. I'm pretty sure I lost right here. Yeah, no, I, I, I straight up lost. Yeah, no, I definitely lost. <laughs> I'm like, I saw a defense boost five. I'm like, oh, no, I lost. Then I saw, I was thinking maybe they have defense boost three to go with it. Nah, they had defense boost four too. I definitely lost. There's no way I could catch up to that type of score. Yeah, see. I, I straight up lost right there. Alright, so since because of the fact that this is my last try for the day, what I'm actually going to do to test out my defensive setup, uh, I'm actually, I swapped my turtle setup for my old Fairy Star's damage setup instead, uh, where my Vexen Plus does have defense boost 4 max, and my extra attack, Stained Glass number 5, uh, has triple threat. And the main goal of this first setup is simply to get rid of their Asuna and to have my boosters go off to carry on to round two as a defender. Um, and in that case, I'm actually going to put Stroke of Midnight second as well and Starlight last since Starlight doesn't have any status ailments. Um, so this is going to be the goal. If, if Fairy Stars happens to make get some wins round one, then that's like, you know, that's a bonus. But I'm not really expecting Fairy Stars to actually win round one. Um, but this is just simply for testing purposes. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and try and find an opponent. All right. So we're actually going to fight Shunfu over here. Actually, no. We'll go ahead and fight Ito instead. Uh, just because it's his average is a little bit lower. Probably more closer to what I would be. Uh, but he's at 180th place with an average of 22.3. So we're going to go ahead and fight Ito. So, kind of like I do for every time uh, on my last try for the day... I'm not actually trying to win on my last try. I'm just trying to record my defensive setup, basically. That's the whole reason why I'm doing it like this. So, like, realistically, I uh, attacking-wise, I wouldn't put Starlight, you know, round three. I would have it either round one or round two, depending on the situation and such. But because of the fact I'm just recording my defensive setup, uh, I put my other two keyblades first. So, if I happen to get a win, that's great, but I'm not expecting or trying to get a win this might what type of setup is this i don't know what this person's trying to do i kind of i didn't see what their first two medals were either that was an interesting first setup Hopefully their second setup's a little bit better. Okay. okay. So now we're using prime metals. Oof. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that damage. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they beat me this round. I'm still actually kind of shocked that I won round one, to be honest. I wasn't supposed to win round one, but I did. Uh, I'm not expecting to win round two either. This is just purely recording my defensive setup. I mean, this guy made 31 million. Like, I'm not going to reach that. Like, I'm barely at 10 million. Right. Now, it's possible I might actually be able to win the match because we actually made it to round three. I wasn't actually expecting to make it to round three. So I might actually win. Uh, this is going to be interesting. All right, let's see how far we can go here. I'm going to go ahead and use my Nova 2 just in case. <clears throat> and they're using only defense boost for Max, so I... I have a chance, I have a pretty good chance of winning right here. I think they put their best two setups in rounds two and three. I think that's what they did. Ooh, ooh. 
The paralysis actually kicked in and made them skip their Kyrie. Ooh, that's rough. I didn't even have a booster right there. That was just simp that was just pure RNG. I I'm pretty sure I won this battle. Yeah, no, I definitely won. Rip. Good game, Ido. <laughs> that sucks. Alright guys, thank you for so much for watching. Uh, remember, I post PvP videos every single day, so if there's something you see within my videos, go ahead and feel free and let me know in the comment section down below. I'll go, I might uh, end up talking about whatever you say uh, in the comment section. As well as the fact, if you find me in PvP, feel free to go ahead and record the battle against me. Send me the link on YouTube. Upload it and send me the link on YouTube or whatever other site, and it may get featured in a future video. Uh, but other than that, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.